Moy. If you guys have been in network engineering before, you've probably had to manage nondescript networking appliances like this. And you know that no matter how badly you mess things up, you can always go in through the serial port on the front. And maybe that means digging into your bag and pulling out your USB to console cable, getting everything hooked up, realizing your laptop doesn't have USB type A anymore, so you gotta buy a new console cable, etc. So having a network that can let you connect to your equipment out of band is very important. And that's why we have things like serial servers so we can connect over our out of band network to our mistakenly configured device and fix our problems over at serial port. But, I mean, these things take up space. We don't want to waste rack units on serial server, right? So I have a neat trick for you today. That is this little thing right here. Now this might look like it's a standard SFP to RJ45 ethernet module, but actually this is a full on server. It has an IP address. It has an RJ45 serial console port, and it lives inside of the SFP cage on your switch. So you use a spare SFP cage on your switch, pop this guy in. You can loop this to the console port on any of the networking gear in the rack and manage it remotely from this little thing here. So if this little thing sounds like just the thing you've been looking for, then come along on this adventure. Slight disclosure first, this guy was sent to me by the manufacturer, GLBB Japan. Um, I emailed them asking if they would send it to me. They didn't reach out to me. I've been on the lookout for any sort of weird SFP modules or things in networking that are a bit unusual. So I've been emailing basically every company that makes weird SFPs like this, and these guys sent me one so I could test it. So if you know of more weird products you'd like me to test like this, then feel free to email me or check on my Discord server. So for my test setup today, I've got this thing. Doesn't matter what it is, that's for a future video. I've got the little magic serial SFP here, and that's gonna go into my Microtik Hex S. So this is just an ethernet router. I'm connecting it over ethernet to my laptop. I'm gonna pop this guy here into the SFP port. This guy is a router, so he'll give it IP addresses and DHCP and stuff. Put that right there. Finally, I just gotta plug in serial port on there, and serial port on there, and we're all ready to go. So now that I got it set up, all I gotta do is connect to it. Out of the box, it comes with a static IP address, which was written down in the information. It also supports IPv6 enabled by default with stateless auto configuration. So if you know the MAC address, which is not on the sticker by the way, so I guess you'd have to figure that out separately, you can just know what IP address it came up with because it uses EUI64. I'll show that later in the video too, but let's connect it over IPv4 first. So over here on my laptop, I look at the IF config. My IP address is in the .11.0 range, so it defaults to 11.11. .11. I've also got V6 set up, so we're using the subnet 2001, DBA is 6969420. So its address out of the box is 11.11, .11, and ping works just fine. So once I log in, I just come up to, you are connected to GS3 SFP module, and its name is SSH Serial. If I hit question mark, it'll show me all the commands it supports. So serial, we can set the baud rate, etc. parity. Network, set IPv4 v6. Um, user permissions, firmware upgrade, etc. So with network show, you can see out of the box, it has a static v4, and it picked up v6 from the router advertisements. It's using SSH port 22, which is normal, and it has a host name. Now if we try to connect to that v6 address we got, it comes right up. And there we go, I changed the host name by the way too. So this little serial adapter came configured for 115, 200, 8, and 1 serial config. That's also the same that the OLT needs. So all I have to do is say serial connect and boom, I'm in the serial shell. So now if I hit enter a couple times, we can see I'm in the serial shell of my device and I can log in there. So this is like as simple as it gets. This thing has some operating system on it. It can speak SSH on port 22. You log in, you tell it serial connect, and it connects you right on through to the serial port. You hit control plus bracket to get out of that, and uh, you're back to its console. Now they say they're working on a firmware version that uses two different ports, one to connect directly to the serial and one to connect to this admin interface. That doesn't seem like a big problem for me. If you're doing this manually, doing remote access stuff, it's not a big deal. So I guess that's really all I have to say about this guy. It does exactly as it said it would. I can do a RJ45 serial console from an SFP slot. It's a tiny little SFP module, which I think is really cool. 
I'm definitely looking forward to trying to find more unique SFP applications like this to showcase on my channel here. I really want to find one of those little mini computer modules that's in an SFP. I know they exist, but I haven't been able to get a hold of one. So if you want to send me any, that'd be great. Um, I have a Discord server linked down below for that as well. If you want to buy this, I have a product link. Um, now they said they're working on a US web store. The company is from Japan, by the way. Um, I emailed them, they sent it to me. Not a problem at all. Um, they don't have like an Amazon store or anything like that. Maybe they'll get that in the future. Maybe I'll update the links in the future on that. If you want to give me a tip personally for making videos like this, I really appreciate that. Link down below in the description to my Kofi where you can give me a uh, tip if you want. I have a Mastodon. It's kind of like Deadbird's site, but not dead. Uh, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next adventure.